Right, good evening and welcome to Life Group. Um, so tonight we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 4, uh, the um, second half of the chapter. Uh, but before we uh, dive in, um, I just want to remind you of the story that I told. I told you a bit about my grandpa, who was a great man, and um, there's loads more that you could find out about him. Uh, but the thing that I told you on Sunday was that my grandpa was inv involved in the D-Day landings. He was one of the uh, first guys onto uh, the beaches of Normandy. Um, and what I, I wanted to set the scene and help us to, to see was uh, France was occupied and lots of Europe was occupied by the Nazis. Uh, they were oppressing people, killing all sorts of people, and uh, it was a terrible place to live. Um, and what happened at D-Day was that that was the, the turning point of the Second World War, most people would say. Um, and what happened at D-Day was the Allies landed on the beaches and then they moved throughout France and into Germany and on other occupied ter territories, freeing the oppressed, getting rid of the Nazis. And my grandpa was one of the first people to land on the beach. Um, and so we, we said on Sunday, I was saying that he, it was a bit like when he landed on the beach, he could kind of have said, look, hope's arrived. Today, everything has changed. Even though the Nazis were still there in France, things had changed because they had arrived. Um, and as they went through the country, they would set people free. There was good news for those people, even though Hitler was still in charge. Um, and uh, things only changed ultimately when he died. Um, we we kind of saw that there was a bit of a, a window of good news. The, the window opened as soon, soon as uh, they landed on D-Day and the Nazis were starting to be defeated. And the window closed when Hitler was defeated. And we saw in our passage in Luke chapter 4 that there was something similar. Jesus says, uh, he reads out about this good news for the poor that he's come to set the oppressed free. Um, and he says, today it's starting. He says, today this is being fulfilled. Just like when my grandpa landed on the beach and today good news is, is arrived, hope has arrived. Today Jesus is here. He's saying these words and he, everything is going to spread out. And Jesus quotes, you, you may have remembered if you were there on Sunday, he quotes Isaiah 61 in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19. And we saw in uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 19, he says he's come to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. But we, we, um, we saw that he's only kind of quoting half of a verse there because he's, he's quoting from Isaiah 61. Um, let me just turn to it. You can turn as well if you want. So just after the Psalms, uh, you get Isaiah. Isaiah 61. Uh, Isaiah said, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God. Jesus seems to be separating that out. Isaiah looks into the future and he sees it as, as one event. But Jesus says that's actually two events. He's come to start one now. He's come to start proclaiming the year of the Lord's favour. He's come to start this year of jubilee, this, this year of celebration of forgiveness and debts being cancelled. He's come to start that now. And one day... He will bring about the, the day of God's judgment. And we saw on Sunday that Jesus is preaching good news. And it's good news for people who live in this window. Between him coming the first time to bring in this year of the Lord's favour. Until the day of judgment. There is a window where anyone can repent. Anyone can come to faith and come and enjoy the year of the Lord's favour. But also, because we are in this window, because all evil hasn't been defeated yet, we also live in a time where people are still oppressed. But one day, the, this will all come back together again. And evil will be defeated, and the year of the Lord's favour will be there for all of God's people. So we're going to think together about how we should respond to that. How should we respond to Jesus, this one who preaches good news? Uh, what does that mean for us? And also, what does it mean for our communities? So I hope you all have a great time uh, thinking that through. Pray that God, by his spirit, will be with you.